In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but... St oh! Ow. Ow. She hit my fucking... Ow. Still no pants, you know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. Ow. I banged my leg against the desk while putting it up. Never happened before. Ow. Anyways, let's begin. Ow. 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 Okay, let's go. <laughs> Looks like Sisu is killing them, bro. Even though she's supposed to heal. <laughs> okay. Yo, that guy got a hole in his stomach. I'm not sure if this is possible. Media, media. Give me like a good, strong demonoid. All right, all right. This is true. Ultimate magician. Oh, yo! They're giving us some extra love for in the ending, uh, the finale. Like the whole scenes here. Okay. Damn. You dumbass. If you didn't have the robe, you'd be dead. <laughs> oh. Wait, wait, did she slide? How, how, how did... <laughs> Yo, we needed more. Where has she been all season, man? Like, we've seen a couple times, but like, god damn. She needed to show way earlier. God damn. <laughs> They are amateurs. Okay, Lawrence. Dengun, Masaka, Sesto Samaka. Okay. Zenin Taikak, Mereda. Majin wa Taikak da to. Yeah. Abare tari ne. The voice acting, bro. <laughs> oh, Shin, Shin. <laughs> oh my God. All right, bro's locked in for the finale. Bro is absolutely locked in for the finale. He, I. I hope he does absolutely something insane this finale. Okay. Yo, if you do that though, the kingdom is gonna be destroyed. You're not gonna destroy the kingdom right now, right? All these houses? Okay, clean. Clean. That was close. That was fucking. That was so fucking close. <laughs> These soldiers, like, what? What are you saying? What are you saying? That's so cool, though. As soon as we just go over each one, like balls of explosions happen, showing all the demonoids that died, though. Then they should have just hid behind the houses. If I were them, I would have straight out hid behind the houses because like, she's not destroying the kingdom, you know. Media too strong. <laughs> I'm coming from the rear, so am I. Your magic robe will do it, don't worry. It's just like, okay, this is what I wanted last episode, right? Like, oh my god. It just goes to show how amateur we are, though, in front of actual real humanoids, right? Because the other ones are just like commoners, they're just randoms, but these ones actually have some experience, right? And like, us, yes, we had a training arc, but we're such amateurs that there's no coordination, right? We're just getting carried by this OP robe that does everything, and then obviously the magic powers that we've been also given, but like, in terms of experience, we have nothing. <laughs> I just realized something. Are the knights gonna show up for the finale? Can they do anything? Like, do you think that the knights will show up in the finale to like clutch for us? Because like, the, we had an entire training arc with them to get along, and it's for the war, and the, it's it's a little abrupt right now. I wonder if the knights will show up. 
If they don't, that's gonna be the funniest shit ever. It's like we dedicate a couple episodes of training together, and the knight's just like, yeah, where are we in the finale? I don't know. Fuck it. I thought she gets splat entirely. Oh, dude, she is such a hothead. Oh, Shin, the here Og or Shin? Okay, Shin, it's all. Please don't kill her. Oh, I don't want Shin to kill her though. I don't want India to die. Oh no, can can she get away just like Strom did? Like I don't want her to die. Oh no, oh no. Is this the one episode where she shows up and has has some moments and dies? Mm-hmm. <laughs> she actually looks dead. Yeah, he looks pretty rough, but like, damn! Please! Wolford! Avengers! Damn. Or maybe I'm underestimating her. Ooh, that's a lot of All these angles, man! They're picking the best one for us! Thank you. Thank you. Not. <laughs> <You're> just... <laughs> this... <laughs> you gotta focus on the action. We gotta focus on the hype, but this is getting too horny. <laughs> oh, I'm not against her leaving and surviving. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was there any point? I feel like, yo, Maria got fucked for no reason here. There was all four of them. Media only went for Maria, dunked her head on the ground and just left, bro. There's like, she's just getting away like, fuck, fuck Maria though. It's getting serious! OP! He saves everyone! Okay. Did he escape though? Really? Did Og do anything there? I thought Og was gonna like protect everyone from the explosion and Shin's gonna go after or something, but Shin just like deflected all of that with the barrier. Og, what did you just do? I'm not sure. Anyways? Wait, it's just starting the finale though. No, they can't just leave. We just started the fight. Strom is also here still. Uh, I don't know. It's not supposed to. Makes sense because Strom didn't want this. Zest did this of his own accord to give Strom another reason to, I don't know, pursue more goals. Whatever Zest wanted. He, he is here, but like not exactly here, you know? More demonoids. Oh, that was to help Lawrence escape? Okay. Lawrence is a bit of a disappointment so far. Now, he hasn't fought Shin just yet, but based on his attitude and his perceptions on Shin, it feels like he's definitely the weakest among them all, huh? Like, Media is sick. I wanted to more see more of her, but like, this guy, I'm not really too sure about Lawrence anymore. Strom just watching. The goal's been accomplished. All Zest wanted to do was give Strom a reason to strive for something more. And with this now, he's like, all right, I'm back in it. I'm more interested. Let's get back in it. All right, it worked. And that's half the episode. And I'm kind of scared that that's the end of the conflict. And now we're just going to do a wrap up and end the series. I don't think there's any more action, man. I think it's over. <laughs> <laughs> He said it without cringing this time. Sicily has just been healing and healing. Sicily <laughs> 
Just wish they wouldn't show her cleavage when she's trying to be serious and healing, man. I think he's dead. Not even Shin can save him, right? I don't think he even does healing. Salute, random NPC. <laughs> Why? What is the purpose? Why? <laughs> what? You need to do skin to skin contact? Yeah? You need to do skin to skin contact to say, I don't fucking know. I don't know. It's just like, if you're trying to have like a serious fucking moment, right? You, you cannot just like immediately break the immersion, which is horny. It just ruins the entire scene. It's just like, sad moments for fan service is the most jarring shit possible. I hate cliches like this. This is just pointless. Like, only 12-year-old kids that are just super down bad would enjoy this shit. But it's, it's like, I'm trying to fucking focus on the story and feel bad for the guy that's dying and understand the consequences of life and death. And then she just fucking shows her titties. Classic anime. Alright, I, I get the logic. I get the logic. So is the jacket just tied on? Is there nothing underneath? No, she has a shirt underneath. Bitch didn't need to fucking undo her entire shirt underneath. Just take the fucking jacket off. Whatever. Whatever. Put that shit back on. You're married almost. That was the dumbest fucking fan service moment, man. How? I thought that he doesn't... Have we seen him use healing magic before? I don't remember. I don't remember him doing anything crazy with healing. Okay, break it down by little problems. Maybe he wasn't dead and he was just really almost close to dead. I'm not sure what happened, but he basically broke down the big problem into small chunks and now he's all good. Wow. I don't know how you did it, but hey, you did it. Does she feel embarrassed for showing her titties? No. Does she feel... I don't know, in, like, um, inadequate because, like, she couldn't save him, but Shin could. She feels helpless? What does Cicely feel? Yeah? Nobody should compare yourself to Shin. It's impossible. I'm sorry. You are literally leaning on him while saying that. That's kind of funny. I don't know. No, you did fine! You held out there. If you weren't there, then more people would have died. Sicily kept that dude alive and then Shin showed up, bought some time. Now she did her job. Saint Sicily! She's gonna get a new nickname, man. <laughs> like, Merida is like the guru, Sicily the saint, and Shin the hero. Award time? We're just running out of budget, maybe. No dialogue needed. Huh? Tekokshugekinosani there's nothing specific about King's the Swede, right? It's just, it's a little bit near Earl's hide, but like, there, there's nothing intricate about this. It's just, Strom needed a new goal, and how strong is Shin? And Zest made it come together. The hero! Yeah, all intentional. Yup, exactly. Oh, Alliance. I mean, shit, the knights were useless too. They didn't even show up. I just realized the knight never showed up, man. Like, what is Kingdom of Sweet gonna do? Honestly. Like, in terms of power scaling, like, do they have any people? Because if you're not setting up these soldiers to be on the level of ultimate magicians, like, everyone is useless. They don't need to exist. Like, this alliance means fucking nothing. Like, what are they going to do? Send a bunch of NPC soldiers in, bro? They're cannon fodder. Exactly. 
Like, unless you have, like, strong magicians that you've been setting up, like, this is just an NPC state with NPC people. Like, none of this shit matters. The night school also didn't matter. Where were they, man? The night should have showed up to fight against the demonoid. <laughs> Summit. We're gonna have more meetings. Let's go. Okay.もっと規制は少なくて済んだんじゃないかって。Why do we not do that? Because we've never been there before, right? Shin needs to have been at a certain place to use the gate, right? Sonisuka開けないんでしょ？ああ、だから。we just need to set a gate up in every important kingdom. <laughs> Merlin and Merida still on standby. Here's the gates. Party time! Woo! Ultimate Magicians! Maybe we need a rebrand? <laughs> Boing. May getting smothered in titties as usual. ボーちゃんも。お前たちようやったの。訓練の成果が。お前、そういうところはドライよな。あ、協力的か。父上、他国との交渉役。私に一人アルティメットマジシャンズのメンバーです。交渉の席に付き合わせ。オッケー。そう、アウグスト。承知しました。必ずや各国との交渉を成功に
She gonna just like pop out an army of demonoids, babies? Or I, I don't know. There's some experimentation going on here where maybe it's gonna be even synthetic, right? We're gonna take like some eggs and like put in a test tube and make like a fucking scientific facility to make like clone war variants of demonoids, but all right. <laughs> don't offend the other countries. <laughs> This is the ending. Ultimate Mage! I wonder if she's gonna have a more important role next season. Post credit scene? The kids are gone. You know what that means? Time to make some grandchildren. No, I don't think they're gonna clap cheeks here. So, Alone together. <laughs> Denied immediately. Yeah, yeah. What's going on? <clears throat> Are we fucking or what? Oh, oh, oh. Jesus, careful. Looks like Grandpa's not getting any action tonight. There, there's no reason, because like as soon as we get to some point, we can just port back home. Like, we're not gone forever. We can just like any time we get to a new place, just set up a gate and go back home and you know it just repeat over and over. It's not like we're gone forever. We we're just a we're just a gate away. <laughs> Jesus! I guess so. Looks like Grandma did want to fuck. She did. She 100 percent did, or else she wouldn't be this mad. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of Wise Man Grandchild Season 1. Give it a round of applause. You know what? This is a pretty decent anime, right? Again, we all started this because of a random spontaneous uh, recommendation. Brothers, you were popping off. I wanted to check it out. It was all right. Overall rating. Well, let's think about this. I thought the animation quality was amazing during the fight scenes. Absolutely. The story itself is pretty generic, right? You're just, you know, reincarnation. You're in a magician's place. It's not like there's anything unique about this, right? Well, the demons are a little bit unique, I guess, you know, forming into a demon. And while the demonoid threat in the beginning was a little bit more scary, and maybe it's because, you know, Shin wasn't going that hard at Kurt, and it's because it was new, I felt like they kind of fell off later on. I did enjoy Strom, though, and the other elite demonoids. I did enjoy their backstory as well. Like, Strom's backstory was actually very compelling. There was also many good slice of life moments where I did enjoy that more. It's just like, I thought episode 11 was just a little bit lacking because all it was was a bunch of ultimate magician from our, you know, group just shitting on, you know, these NPC demonoids. It could, and, and like, if there's no any stakes at it, it also doesn't really feel like much of a flex, so it was like meh. But then, you know, episode 12 today with the fight with against media, that was pretty sick. And now there's even more plot to go on regarding some kind of creating of demon babies and stuff like that with Strom. And Strom has gotten like his own, you know, new goal set. And now they're going to create alliances and go on for, for the story. So this season, I think that somewhere around 7 is a decent score. Maybe like 6.5 to 7 minimum. I don't know where it would land at, finally. Like, these ratings, honestly, that, like, change over days, over weeks, right? And recency bias is gonna get it, but I don't think that it was, like, a peak anime. But I don't think there was anything terrible with that either. It's just, like, a, a comfy show to watch, fun hype moments here and there. Like, a 6.5 or 7 out of 10 is where I've placed this anime. Thank you to everybody for checking out Wise Man Grandchild. We are officially done. And now, Sword Art Online enjoyers, we will get back onto Sword Art Online. Season 3 starts now. And I will see you next time.